I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. I don't play very often, so I like to do this exercise to keep my mind in the game. Whenever I do the random pulls, I set up a drawn hand and then I try to identify where I might be able to get score. Because in all the groups that I play with, there's a fawn minimum. For this set of random pulls, I'm going to say we need to have three fawn to qualify to win. If you want to know more about playing Hong Kong Mahjong, there's a link below the video to a lesson playlist and a player reference that you can download so you can follow along with my videos. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with East Round. We'll just roll the dice just to see which seat we're in for practice. This time we'll say we're in North seat because I rolled a four. So we'll put a four on the dice. East Round, we're in North seat. We have two flowers, a one and a four. So we've got one fawn for our seat flower right there. Okay, we need three fawn. If we played all chow, that is a one fawn hand. And we only have one fawn with our flower here. So that would be two fawn. We would not qualify to win. But this hand is set up for chows. We have a five, six, eight, that those are potential for chows right there. We have a pair of sevens, a three, six, which is not helpful, but here's an eight, nine. I think what I would probably do for this, we do have a white dragon and a north, that would be our seat wind. I would hold those and try to pair those up because each one of those can bring a fawn to the hand. Because this is a pair, I think I would probably hold that and see if we could pair up and do pungs, which is three of a kind. I would hold the dots in case chows came in and we paired up these for score. So those would be a couple ways to get some score. Um, the other thing we could do is focus on BAMs and try to clear to one suit with Winds and Dragons, which is a long shot because all these would have to be discarded. So even though there is Chow potential with all these, all Chow is only one Fawn. And if there's a three Fawn minimum, that's not going to be enough. So I think I would wait and draw to see if we could pair up or draw in BAMs. Yeah, that's going to be a long, long road there. Let's move on to South Round. And this time we're in East Seat. Let's replace the flower. That's a three flower, so that won't help us. So we are in seat east dealer and south round. So we could get score for these if we pair up. So I would hold those. For any dragon pung, you get a fawn for that alone. So I definitely would want to hold that for a dragon pung. Here we have a potential chow and a potential chow. So we could do a half flush. I think there is potential for a chow here. And a, of course we have a pair. But since we have a three flower, we, we are going to need to come up with another two fawn. All chow would be 
one fawn. If we did the dragon pung, that would be a fawn, but then we need to get two more from somewhere. I think I would try for a half flush with cracks and honors. I would throw the eight dot first and see if I could draw in cracks and pair up the south or the east. That would be my hope for this particular random pull. If you would do something different here with a three fawn minimum, write random pull two and what you would do. So now we're gonna go on to the west round. Oh, let's see what seat we're in. This time we're gonna be in north seat. Okay, three fawn minimum. We have a pung of north. That is a fawn right there because we're in the north seat. It's west round, so if we could pair that up, we could maybe pung that too. So I would hold that. Then we need to come up with, let's see, we have no flowers right now. That's actually a fawn. So right now we have two fawn. We need one more fawn. I'm thinking dots half flush that would be three fawn four for the north and then no flowers would be five three four five so we would need to throw these away mixing suits and chows bring no value to your hand that's why i would throw these away focus on dots and honors if you would do something differently here, write random pull three and what you would do. Remember, there's a three fawn minimum. We're on north round. This time, we'll be in north seat. Again. For these tiles, I would try for half flush. Get rid of these. Dots and winds and dragons. Winds and dragons together are called honors. So we would need to pair those up in order to pung. And then here we have a potential chow there's a potential chow, or here's a potential chow, and there's a chow. So there's chow potential there. We'd have to do a lot of drawing though to get dots and honors. These would go away first. Even though we have chow potential here and here, all chow is only one fawn. That would, if we did all chow, that'd be one fawn. No flower would be two fawn. That doesn't qualify with a three fawn minimum. So that's why I would try for a half flush with dots and honors. I hope that gave you a good idea of what it's like to work with the tiles. You need to get four sets in a pair, three in a sequence or three of a kind. And then the combination of your hand determines your score. If you wanna know more about it, watch the lesson playlist and download that PDF so that you can get to know the scoring elements. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an inside to game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.